I, I dated some quirky people, you guys, because they're fun. Right? It's, yeah, it's really fun. Here's one of the kooky things that happened to me. This guy, really intelligent, right? And he knows I'm a good intellectual match for him. So guess <laughs> how our relationship progresses. It becomes more and more intellectually intense. And <laughs> what happens is he starts bringing material, paper, spreadsheets, articles to go over at dinner with his highlighter and his pen and his pencil. <laughs> I enjoy these conversations. It's just not normally something you do on a date. I mean, on a date, you're trying to get to know each other and you're, you know, laughing and talking about your day and, you know, just venturing into different types of conversation. This is personality types and archetypes and how we connect or what our differences might be and really delving into that psychological conversation and... While I really enjoyed this, on my off time, I also like to let my hair down and just be me, be a woman, have a good time. And so this just got really intense for me. So I had to end this relationship just because it was always on and we were always on heavy, deep, psychological, in-depth, studying, reading articles, converse. I'm, I'm talking about at the dinner table at the restaurant we are doing this. No matter where we are, we are doing this. We're on the phone. We're texting. This is literally everything that we're talking about. Yeah, it just, it just it just was too much. I mean, I need that balance is really important to me. You'll hear me talk about that all the time. I need a good balance between my children and work and working on myself and dating and just to kind of having a little bit of everything going on in my life so I don't get exhausted and I can refuel and also give enough love and support to everyone that I care about. So this was wildly out of balance. I I still haven't met anyone else like him. I mean, <laughs> Captain Intense. Yeah, he gets that award.